Auckland Marco for the Auckland Marco's last game of this year. Marco, how do you think this game's going to go? Um, it hasn't been a, a strong performance for the Marco that, so far. They've lost all their, all their games. This is their last game now. This is a chance for them to get one win before, before their uh, season wraps up because they're not going to the South Island this year. Yeah, definitely not. But nonetheless, the Swarm are going to want to try to get that season starting in a couple of weeks. So it's their last chance tonight to try to get those lines gelling and working before they do start their NZIHL regular season. But the Marco have a few new faces tonight with some Dunedin players coming up and helping out. They also have got uh, Flynn Haywood-Jones from the Admirals who obviously had a good game again yesterday for them. How do you think this will play out though today? Oh uh, yeah, uh, that's an interesting uh, change from last night when we saw the Marco face the Admirals and we had the Botany Marco representatives. Now we've switched to the Admirals ones. So. Nash Hayward Jones yesterday with a commanding two two goals, now joining the Mako against the Swarm. It's going to be very I exciting. So we'll be, boys are still having a few warm ups, but nonetheless, we'll shoot over to some highlights from last night's game. We have Ivan Dalmatow, number 57, Leon Forgs, 19. Alongside them is Alex Sonkoti dropping the puck. We are into it. Win over Sky City Stampede last year. And that was quite a feat to do. Not many. Oh, as we have a goal, a shot from the point. That is Chamberlain. See, Sebastian Chamberlain. Sebastian with a shot from the point. It might have taken a ricochet or a bounce, but it does find its way into the net. And holding on to it. But the Admirals do clear the zone. Rooney sends it up to Harrop. Harrop skating well. One on three here. Takes a wrist shot. Goalie stops it with a glove, but mishandled it a little bit. One time just shot, just, just the manages puck. to dust off the puck. And Daigle has a quick shot. It's in someone's equipment. It's there and on the doorstep. And we have another goal. That is, looks like Sestroni. Looks like Sestroni heard what I said and decided to prove me wrong. And scores. Putting Luke Simon with it now. Side steps. No, he does not. He gets introduced to the ice by Mason Kennedy with a solid body check. That's Luca Aaron just helping out down low. Shot on net, save. Rebound in front, puck squirts loose. And the players battle for it, and Timothy Carey covers it up as he goes off for a chains. Get some new fresh legs out on the ice. Daigle skating well here, goes around two players. Hard shot, blockered away by the Tendi. Shot from the point. Saved by, the, by Tim Carey. Apps with it now, facing a one on two. Curl and drag, but misses the net. On his pass up to Dalmatow. Dalmatow has a three on two here. It's stopped by Jones. And that's Nash Hayward Jones. Up to Regan at the point. He takes a shot. That's blockered away by Chaba. As the Mako are four checking here. Shot to the middle. Rusky Jones with a shot. Saved by Chaba. And a rebound. Oh, it hits the side of the net. Mako pressing. Point is Regan. Regan backstepping now. Oh, has it taken away, and is in on goal, and shoots. Oh, and a great save as Quigley was in by himself behind the defenders. Backhand, forehand move, and what a save by Carey. That's Bull, left-handed player, sends it to Regan. Regan down low, and Regan takes a shot. Oh, and it goes just over the net above Chaba. Not sure if he saw it. Uh, that's what's called icing. Yeah. And then the play will come all the way back for a face-off in the other zone. So hopefully Chalas up to Ellis. Ellis puts it in the middle to Henderson. Henderson as the Admirals. Nice breakout here. As Hayward Jones steps up, past his man. He shoots and scores. And it's in the net. Deflection off carry and in. Out from behind the goal. And that's Alex Regan skating well with that. Regan Goes around it two off. defenders. Make it three. Shot off the crossbar. And a shot. Oh, and that narrowly missed as well. Is kind of uh, squashed on the boards by Hayward Jones. Hayward Jones up to Ellis. Ellis, a two-on-one break here. He shoots. Oh, just over the net and hits the glass as Admiral's looking to strike quickly on the counterattack. Players and individuals do. I know that both you and I are huge fans and Admiral, uh, like lovers of the game. And that, oh, that's a deflection oh. and goal. Oh, strange deflection. And Hayward Jones has a seeing eye shot that manages to go through the five hole. Stops Ellis's progress. Oh, it's in front of that shot, and a great save by Carey as Taylor Kennedy stepped in front of the slot and took a great shot, stopped by the chest protector of Carey. Ellis in front to Chamberlain. That's Caleb. 
But it's his sticks lifted and taken away as the Mako quickly regroup on a two on two. Delmatel, wrist shot, save by Chaba. Even a rebound save. Chaba having to be sharp on that one. Whoa. That, that's it. That's it. <coughs> and Mako have a. True. <laughs> That's fair enough. Well, arguably the Admiral's colors. Very, very similar the to the Swedish uh, Tre Kroner <laughs> national jersey. As that puck is in front of the net, and they are battling for it, but they can't get it through. Dago with a one-time shot. Just missed the net. And Dago. Saucer pass up the middle. Gets towards Henderson, and he's onside. Back and forehand, and it is a save by Carey. A sweet move by Henderson as he grimaces, thinking he could have done a bit better on that one. Someone says they have high hockey IQ, and they see the ice well. That's what Daigle was doing there, as Kennedy has a shot, and it is rebounded very quick for Nick Henderson, capitalizing on a juicy rebound, and he scores. That will do it, folks, with a score of five to your West Auckland Admirals, zero to the Auckland Mako. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're now going to cut into last week's highlights of the Auckland Marco taking on the Botany Swarm. As we're back to full strength, as Hyde will come with it. It's a one on one. Diggs Mawson goes back and forehand score! Oh. No, he doesn't! Oh, he had an open goal there on the forehand and could not put it in. Returning to New Zealand now, though. As Nash Hayward Jones rips one on net and rebound scores. Marco take an early 1 0 lead here in the opening frame. Play, but only as far as Mawson. As Kozak will break the attacking zone. Tula with it. Try to find Jonsson. He shoots and scores. Oh. Kyle Jonsson. Sitting in the slot area with a Marco player unable to clear it. And he bangs that in and that's as easy as it'll come for him. As Polozov will have it for the Swarm. Gives it up to the point and Sando, he'll rip one on and scores! Remy Sando with a blast from the point goes through everyone in front. And the Swarm will take a 2-1 lead. Off, heading off to the dressing room. Let's hope it's not. It's nothing too serious. Oh, what an amazing save! Kozak's pressure there by Regan, but the Swarm still able to keep it in the attacking zone. Good move there by Jonsson. Hopkinson, he shoots, he scores! A lovely move from Kyle Jonsson to set up Richie Hopkinson, and he puts that on the high glove side past Moore. Gets a shot on as Hyde comes the other way. That he's got a one on no opportunity here. Fakes a slap shot and scores. Try to go backhand or maybe just intentionally try to put it between the legs of Harrison. And the Marco cut the lead to just one. Going to work there. Winning the face off cleanly against Atwell. Beats one, beats two. Centering feed and oh it scores. Just like that, the Marco are back in this one. Within a couple, only a couple of seconds, the Marco have managed to tie it up. Cleans up, makes a little center ice move, puts one on net, but that's wide of the pad. Jonsson with a follow-up shot, but missed that entirely. Taller with it, try to find Jonsson, and he scores. From an impossible angle, he elevates the puck above to his sh power's shoulder. To shoot it. As Lewis dispossessed there at center ice, Wodanov finds Jonsson. He's got a breakaway opportunity and he scores! Goes in for the hat trick! Kyle Jonsson gets a hat trick here tonight. Find Tula behind the swarm net. Tula dancing around, fires an up, up high pass to Hopkinson. He's here on a breakaway, back and forehand, and a oh, huge save there by Power. 
Howard Jones trying to bang it in deep. Here's Regan. He's got a man at the back post. They score! Alex Regan with a nice play. Setting up Serikov. And they close the gap to one goal with 19 seconds to go Do the Auckland Marco. It's 19 seconds, it's not a lot. And How well pressured as Tula puts it on the empty net and scores. Straight in the middle.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hive here at Botany, Auckland, New Zealand. I'm Bryce Rouse, alongside me, Maku Maltahariu. We've got a good matchup here today between the young Auckland Marco side, based off under 23 players from around the country, taking on your very own home team, the Botany Swarm. Maku, what's going to go on today with the Marco, you reckon? Uh, it's going to be a hard game for the Marco, uh, but interesting to see the Emeralds players on the, on the squad tonight. We got a young go goaltender starting for the, the Marco, uh, Jake Bankhurst from Queenstown, only 17 years old, named to the U18 team. Um, yeah. Yeah, great opportunity for these young goalies and these young players to gain some vital experience before they do bump up and play for their respective clubs in the NZIHL. So when they do eventually arrive into that era of their careers, they'll be fighting fit and ready and know exactly what they need to do. Exactly. So we're just about a couple of minutes away now from dropping the ice as the Zebras have come out. We're just waiting for the teams to come out now. I think the Swarm will be led by Matt Canada, who will be starting in goal tonight for the Swarm. A uh, washing machine, if you will, he is, around the NZIHL. Yep. Canada is a legend. Good to see him in that tonight. We've got... Josh Whitston Lee jumping on the ice for the Botany Swarm as well. Had a bit of a chat with Andy Hay before the game. His call for the who's going to be hot tonight. Maybe it's Josh. We'll see. And also Ollie Hay stepping, getting back in there for the Swarm now. Uh, incredibly good defenseman in this league, I'm sure. Everyone around the country knows the Hay brothers, especially Ollie. Played uh, some years over in North America playing hockey over there. And yeah. also for the Marco, we do have. Can't underestimate Axel the... Rusky Jones, who yes. was currently playing some. a good level of hockey over in Ontario. You'll see him with the uh, Ontario Brown. Hockey shorts on, a maroon colour, and helmet. As the teams are going to huddle around their goals now to go over last, last things they need to do. For the Marco, I would look at Flint Hayward Jones making an impact, wearing the captain C for Auckland Marco today. Scored two goals with the Admirals yesterday against Marco, now joining and. Trying to fill that hole that Paris Hayde's absence might leave on the Marco from last weekend. Yeah, Flynn Hayward Jones over the, over the years has really come to light, especially playing for the Admirals. He's on the first line with Justin Day, and you probably can't ask for a better defenseman to learn off than him. No, and we'll he hear more from Flynn Hayward Jones and this uh, the first intermission. I'll have him here up up here for an interview. And then for the second intermission, we'll get Matt Canada back up here. And the teams are ready to line up for the face-off. For the Swarm, we have uh, Michael Atwell in center, and then Robin Wartonov and Alex Palsa of wingers. Uh, on defense, we've got R Remy Sandoy and Oliver Hay. As we're underway here now at the Hive, Wurdenov getting out of the zone and Atwell finding a streaking Polozov on the right hand wing. Pressured on by Alex Regan though. Polozov still with it. He'll put something on net. Try to get a redirect in front. Rebound try there by Sandoy. Couldn't get anything good on it. And Bradley Apps also. Uh, NZIHL becoming legend, 26 years old so far. He's playing for the Marco here tonight. There's a good shot here by Atwell. That's a good blocker save by Pankhurst. So the 17 year old goalie getting a quick look in early as Talon will leave that on for another Marco player as they try to exit the zone, finally able to. Tula picks it up and gives it to Mawson. Kozak's up there. He'll get it. Looking for options. Try to give it to Hopkinson. He does get a shot on, but that goes wide. 
And Marco trying to get some passes string along and get some people skating onto the puck. As the Swarm are just controlling this one early. As Kozak will just leave that on for Jonsson who makes two good shimmy moves. Couldn't get past the third though. Here come the Marco the other way though in flight. But a good stick there by Luke Simon. Received a hit for his troubles as well as Hopkinson will gain the zone. Leaves it on for a defenseman but they had not got up there yet as Fontaine was causing havoc there. Wrap around for Andy Hay. He'll just give it back to Simon. Pass up to Max Hill who couldn't get anything on it but Josh Whitson Lee charging in hard. As Kemp bangs that up for the Marco. He's met there by a hit. And we've got a breakaway opportunity here for Chamberlain. Goes forehand and oi, the Swarm player crashing into the goal. I think it's Andy Hay there. So an incredibly good chance here for Chamberlain and the Marco. Andy Hay all good after that collision with the goal though. Marco yesterday with plenty of these break breakaway attempts on turnovers, couldn't capitalize on them. Uh, that's where I'd look to for the Marco to have some success today. Not so lucky with Caleb Chamberlain on that attempt. Well, Ollie Hay finds a nice pass up to Max Hill. Still with it, shot on, but that's wide. Ollie Hay with it, tries to bang it in deep. His pocket will put it around for Whitson Lee. He'll wrap that around. The will exit the zone though momentarily for the Swarm as Oli Hay will get a bit of a giddy up. He'll walk in, shoot, and then good save there by Pankhurst as that was coming off the stick at a rate of knots. Pankhurst has now been warmed up as uh, Marco has been struggling with against the top lines of Swarm now facing against Ben Taylor's line. Marco getting the puck out as Forgs will have it. He's got Quigley in the middle, but he'll rip one on. Good blocker save there by Canada. And a wayward pass from Commons will go all the way, and that will be icing. So I'm sure the Marco are trying to... Hey, they're a young team, and I think they're probably going to want to have someone always leaving the zone early so you can get that high pass going and try to get some breakaway opportunities. That's right. They'll have to count on simple plays, We're having, having not played with each other a lot. And this is their last game of the season, so they will might want to make it count and get all that exposure and ice time before the U18 and U20 World Championships are held next time. Yeah, you bet. As the Swarm will get a late change, as will be Quigley versus Atwell. Mawson behind his net will wrap it around for Polozov. Who gives it on to a skating Atwell. He's got Vordanov, who tried to get a backhand shot but couldn't get enough on it. As the Marco dispossessed Atwell, Mawson fanned on a bouncing puck. Probably made him look bad on there, but I don't think many people were getting that shot off as it was taking a good bounce off the ice. And here's Regan. But he's dispossessed there by Mawson and Polozov will gain his own. Thinks about leaving it off. Atwell shot on, scores! Michael Atwell assisted by Polozov and the Swarm take an early 1-0 lead. Adwell having all the time in the world, uh, no defenseman around him snaps it in. Top cheese. And that's definitely the swarm are going to want to utilize well this season. Get Polozov into the zone, get the puck on his stick, and make him make a few shimmies. But while they're doing that, get into a good shooting lane, and he'll nine times out of ten put that pass on your stick. As Simon bangs that one in. Took a weird bounce, which the goalie deflected only into the stick of Jonsson. 
Now Simon will keep that in. Not much on it as one of the defensemen could control that easily. Here's Bradley Apps. He'll just dump one in deep. For a tail on to chase, but Kozak win, does win the race there. As Simon gets the puck out of the zone. And Luke Tappan showing a few nice decks there. As Andy Hay gets the puck out, Kozak with it. He'll find Jonsson, who finds Kozak, rips one, and he shot, shoots it straight into the arms of the goalie there. Had a good open net chance there. Maybe should have controlled it quickly, but nonetheless. Good playmaking from Andre Kozak, our superstar from Czechia. Now a New Zealand citizen and a regular face on the ice blacks. As Marco do clear the zone for the time being, here's Chalona. Pressured on by Gavin Puckett, but he'll be the first one to win the race. He'll leave it on for Rusky Jones. And Ollie Hay put in a half a hit on Chamberlain there. Marco working pretty hard there to try to keep it in, but it does square it out as Nash Hayward Jones will find CJ Kemp. Try to find a man up high, but couldn't find it as the Swarm will have possession. As Puckett will give it on to Hay. Ollie Hay, that was. And Marco putting a good four check in there. As Hay pressured by Flight, who makes Ollie Hay ice the puck. So we'll get an attacking face off here for the Marco. As the ref comes and grabs Gavin Puckett, says, Get back out there, mate. It was an icing. Yeah, you've got to commend hockey players, though, on some icing calls. You know, they try to sneak off get onto the bench to have a rest yeah and that's right you've never done that right hey oh look i tried it i tried it once and realized it doesn't work no it rarely does here's hill though the other way rips one on good glove save pankhurst just getting a little bit of leather on that as it deflects over the glass onto the netting so we'll get a face off in the marco defensive zone As Taylor will go to work here. Even face off there as the Marco are able to break out. But Serikov just losing his footing just a little bit. Alex Regan finds his D-man who puts it up for Fontaine. And calm as you like, the Swiss Stefan Tuller. Just possessing the Marco players since day one. As Regan will bang it up the boards. And the Swarm able to keep that in. Good work by Ben Taylor. As Commons was ganged up by three, Marco there. Which did leave a big hole in the middle of the ice, but they were lucky the puck didn't go there. As Tula will find Commons, who will give it to Webb. Commons again, and Serikov receiving a nice hit there by Atwell. As Mawson finds Polizov, beats two, onto the backhand. Still has it behind the net, try to find a centering feed. But Pankhurst with his stick down, and we've got a whistle on the play. A hooking call. It's going to go against Alex Regan of the Marco. So a couple of minutes for him in the naughty box. As the Swarm will go on the power play and some pretty dangerous boys out there on this line for them. As Oli Hay has it, he'll try to find Polozov, but Forgs with a good stick in the lane to break up that. And Forgs again put it in work. Almost able to get the Back out of the zone as he's tied up with Sandoy in the back of the play. Atwell with it. Try to find Vordanov, but the pass was a bit wayward. 
as the Marco bang that all the way down and quickly. And to the left, you should see how far Polozov was camping. He's up the blue line now, just coming back in. And Vodanov controls that well off his stick. Polozov with it. He'll give it up to Sandoy. Polozov again, spinning away from his man. Atwell at the back net here. Tried to find a centering feed. Mawson couldn't get enough on it. Polozov picks it up. Centering feed to just a Marco player. As the Marco will go for a three-man change as Kang couldn't get off because he had to mark Polozov over there. Hopkinson going to the back net. Didn't get the pass, though. As Bradley Apps will have it. He'll spin back into his zone and get a cross ice pass over to CJ Kemp. And Amarco will bank that one in deep. A tough bounce here by Matt Kennedy. Not enough to scare him though on that. As Kozak will have it for the swarm, puts on the brakes. Still with it, trying to find a back, backdoor feed to Mawson who got some good wood on it but Nothing accurate enough as a deflected puck and a, oh, a couple of redirects there as Jonsson had a good chance there at the back post to put it in. But just shot the bouncing puck a little bit high. So Marco escaping the swarm so far. Marco putting on a pretty good penalty kill. Um, just doing enough uh, hindrance on the swarm players so that even though they had an open... Uh, empty net in front of them. They put in enough interference to get that puck over the net. As Shalona will bet, try bang that one in deep, but Andy Hay in the way of that. Max Hill pressured there by Kemp, who does come away with it. And Andy Hayes stepping up to make a pretty clutch play to keep the attack somewhat alive as Flight gives a big hit there by Puckett. Nice clean hit. As the Swarm will break out in the form of Luke Simon. Pressure on there by Puckett as we are back to full, full strength. Here's Fontaine, got some good pace to him, shoots and right into the glove of Canada who releases a quick one for Whitson Lee to skate with. He'll give a cross ice feed over to Ollie Hay. But the Marco get two men on him and turn the puck over. Vordanov will come away with it though. Trying to get some pace, go around the outside of Alex Regan. And Regan staying with the play, doing well. Still with it. Marco with a half a chance here, got numbers. Pass. Tipped in front of the net. Wardenov coming back to clean up. Is that well unable to corral that on his stick from Wardenov? Swarm still with it though. Polozov dancing around. The guy can absolutely turn on a dime with the puck as well. As Regan does well, shields the puck and absorbed a hit from Atwell. Here goes Chamberlain. He's still got it. Couldn't get a shot off as he's heckled there by a swarm defenseman. Tula will find Mawson. We try to find Kozak, but Flynn Hayward Jones right there in the skating lane. As Quigley shone a bit of his pace, but too many men on him as Tula will bang it around for Jonsson on this near side. Who probably wanted a harder pass, so he could have controlled and had more time to think about that. But a foot race here, Kozak and Flynn Hayward Jones. Hayward Jones coming away with it at the time being. And he'll get that out of the zone now for the Marco as Mawson will be the first skater there back and will beat the icing. 
That was a long stretch of play without a break. Uh, we, we saw there a great offensive play from Chamberlain, LaFontaine, and Serikov. It almost resulted in a goal. We had a big hit on flight. Uh, he's shaking it off and trying to regroup. Also, shout shout to Luke Aaron Joss, uh, only 16 years old, getting a couple of breakaways. Um, I mean, turnovers on the other end for Mako. As the Mako wannabe getting the sticks to the tape as the Swarm are interested in Hill with a slap shot, scores! Might have been a deflection right in front by Gavin Puckett. I think he'll be claiming the goal. But Max Hill with a nice low hard shot. And it will be Puckett awarded with that goal with the redirect. So just like that, the Swarm take a 2-0 lead when the Marco were getting a few good chances here with 10 to 6 shots. That's how it usually ends up being. If you if you don't capitalize on your shots, the other team ends up being the next one to score. And that shot from Max Hill just trickles with Pankhurst getting a little piece of it, but not enough. It's all about experience for this Marco team. But if, even though, and even, even though they are a young team, getting that experience early, they're still putting up some good fights here in the games that they are playing. As Whitson Lee will have it. Deeks won, tries to put on his skate and regain control. He'll get it up for Andy Hay, who will give it back, shape back to Whitson Lee. Centering feed, shoots, and a good save, scramble in front. Some An Marco players pushing them out of the way. And, and just as Gavin Puckett scored that goal before, that is officially his very first goal for the Botany Swarm, so congratulations, Gavin. Check here. Now, big scramble there at run by the hash marks as Chelona will come away with it for the Marco. Try to put on some moves, but Ollie Hay has seen those probably a thousand times in his life. As Rusky Jones almost nails Ollie Hay into one of the boards here. Regan pressured on. Almost dispossessed, but fell into the hands of another Marco player. Sandoy with it, he'll just find Commons who was lurking right in the middle of the ice. And he puts that one in deep to try to get some chases. As Rusky Jones will find Fontaine. who will go straight to the middle of the ice, put us on a deke on Mawson. Mawson though, getting a good stick on the, the puck there. But Fontaine has got his pace on display here tonight. Definitely wanna, wouldn't want to give him a few strides to work with. So that two nothing goal gets credit to Josh Whitson Lee. So good on Andy Hay, correctly predicting who's hot tonight. Do you have a word with him before the game? Did you, Marku? Yeah. Yeah. I was going for that insider information. Has to be done. good because the coaches really don't mind having a having a word with us because they know we're probably not going to tell the other team so no just everyone else yeah for sure a shot there by Mawson but Alex Regan standing strong not afraid to block any shots as Regan as he'll find Flynn Hayward Jones but leaves it on for Fontaine couldn't get a shot off though Marco Player still trying to win the puck there, but Tula coming away with it. And he'll just skate right up ice. Tries to put on a deke, but does get past his man. Centering feed. Atwell tried to leave it there for someone. No one was home. As Chamberlain 
dispossessed there as he was outnumbered. Mawson with it, he'll just give it off for Polozov. Chance here, Polozov goes, goes wide. There's a big section of the right hand of the goal open there. As Polozov will beat this icing out to avoid a whistle. As Hayward Jones gives it over to Apps. He'll find Bowl. He'll whip it up. Gets a little shot on there from the far corner. Nothing to trouble Matt Canada at this point. Won't be easy for Marco to get past Matt Kennedy. One of the finest goalies we have here in New Zealand, and you'll be hearing from him more on a second intermission interview. As Jonsson leaves a nice pass up the boards for Hopkinson, who will find Kozak. Puts on the brakes, trying to find an option. Does, and Simon, who puts one on, but that misses everything. Andy Hay tried to put one on net. That's deflected and goes into the corner. Good hit there from Luke Simon on one of his Marco teammates. So the Marco definitely not playing too bad tonight. They probably want to get some more passes onto the tape of their teammates. As they do look pretty good going forward though, as Ollie Hay absolutely skies that one. And reenacts his golf swing. Not sure if he's a golf player, but I'd definitely say his brother Andy would be. And don't ask me why I think that, it's just, just instinct. As the ref says this, Face off Wooga outside the zone. So Rusky Jones up against Hopkinson. Hopkinson winning that one. As Jonsson tried to find Hopkinson as a Marco player went down. Maybe could have been a tripping call, maybe nothing in it. Kozak rips one and that goes above the goal and hits the glass behind. And Chamberlain only gets that as far as Ollie Hay. As Kemp will ice that one, so we will have an icing. So, Marku, we had the Super Rugby Pacific final last night at Eden Park. We did. I was lucky enough to attend the game. Oh, you were. And I've got to say, the atmosphere was just incredible. Cool. But you could always feel like us Blues fans really needed something to get excited about. But... It just didn't happen as the Crusaders were just absolutely yeah. clinical in everything they did last night. Yes, I was otherwise engaged to doing the commentary last night, but I was able to sneak in for the second half and watch the Crusaders run over the Blues. Sad thing to see, being a Blues supporter, but hey, there's always next year, and it's not the 2018 Blues anymore. Yeah, I admit I was, I was quite gutted, but at the same time, I'm pretty proud of the boys of how far they've come. You know, Liam McDonald taken over a few years ago. He's really changed the vibe in that environment. So, hey, onwards and upwards still. I'm sure next year's going to be even better for them. I'm sure they'll make the final once again. But if you are a Cantab supporter, congrats on your, on your rugby win. See, us Aucklanders are humble. I don't know why you guys say we're not. <laughs> Nonetheless, back here to the action as Kang will find Regan in the corner. Try to find Quigley, but he's unable to control that off his skate. Out well with it, he'll find Vordanov. Good understanding on this line, out well Vordanov and Polozov. A shot, backhand shot on net. As Pankhurst would see that all the way. Ref does have his arm up as Vodanov is down. Polozov with it though. As Pankhurst got over there in a hurry to deny Polozov at the back post. But looks like it's going to be Chamberlain. Nope, the ref wants someone else. 
Looks like Vortanov got a cross check that put him down. But they're not sure who they're gonna put in the box yet. Looks like it's Kang. Yeah, Taehun Kang. So he'll serve two minutes in the naughty box for that one. As the Swarm will want to get something going with this power play, unable to convert on their first one. Right, well, we'll give it off to Oli Hay. We'll just give it to Vordanov. Back to Hay. He's got Vordanov going back post, but the pass unable to get through. Oli Hay will bang one on net. That trickles out right in front. Remy Sandui was in and around, but just not at that desired location that the puck came out. As Oli Hay wraps that right around. Play out well, who leaves it for Polozov. You know what he's going to do, puts on a move. He's around the back of the net. Trying to find Oli Hay, who shoots, and it goes over the top of the goal again. He's definitely got his golf clubs out tonight. A nice pass from behind the goal by Polozov. Those Estonian hands, uh, it's just a pleasure to watch those Estonian hands work their magic on power play. So Atwell. Pass that up to Kozak. A lot of room here on the left. He'll try to find a back, uh, back post pass for Vordanov, but couldn't get enough on it as he absolutely skies it. Maybe the pass was just a little bit in front, but nonetheless, a pretty good opportunity there for the Swarm. I had a talk with Polosov. Uh, he told me he spent some years playing in Finnish League, um, the first division um, back in the day before coming to New Zealand. So he's definitely got some great exposure. As the botany swarm out back on power play, but the Marco is able to clear this one. And that concludes the first period. And that will do it here for the first period of action at the Hive. Swarm with a 2-0 lead, leading in the shots department from 16 to seven. But do stay tuned folks, as we'll have Flynn Hayward Jones up here for an interview with Marku. So stand by for that and we'll be right back.
Welcome back to the first intermission. We have here Flynn Hayward Jones, captain of Auckland, Marco. <laughs> How are you, mate? Yeah, good yourself. Yeah, good, good, good. Hey, how's the game so far? Yeah, it's looking good. Both both teams are playing real well. Um, we'd hopefully next period we can get a couple more shots off, get some more shots on goal, get a couple scores to a few. But otherwise, I think it's going pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. You had a big night yesterday, scoring two goals for yeah. the Admirals. Tell us a bit how, how those goals went. Yeah, so start of the second, I was <laughs> I was coming down. I was going against Alex, good mate of mine, and he thought I was going to pass it. And then he, he's as he's moving up, I was like, oh, sweet, free room. Took a shot, got it through, had that over him. Um, and then the next one, I was <laughs> I was totally trying to pass it to my teammate back there and got a redirect five holes. So I was pretty stoked about that. But um, but God, I didn't get the hat trick. But you know, it, it'll come soon, hopefully, this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you bring some of that offensive tonight for the Marco. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Uh, you've been playing a lot with your brother. How's that going? Yeah, it's good. Finally, good to have him um, playing with the big boys up in the NZIHL these past couple of years, and hopefully, over the next few years, we'll be solid D partners, work well together. Obviously, we kind of know each other's habits, and it'll be great for the future. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, do you know what are the plans for Auckland Marco next year? What, 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 what is the, how's the team going to do? Are you going to be part of it? Yeah. Well, I, I assume it's probably going to be pretty similar to this year, but next year, you know, we'll probably get a couple more South Island games going against the Queenstown and um, Christchurch and Dunedin. I was a bit gutted we missed out this year on that, but... Yeah, and definitely I'll be playing in the next few years, hopefully. So, All right. Yeah. yeah. Good to hear that we'll get those South Island games back. All right. Um, so, we've got a new public holiday next Friday. We're celebrating Matariki. So, uh, tell us about, have you, have you got any plans for it? Or what uh, do you recommend we do? Not at the moment. Probably pretty cruisy. Just see what's going. But happy to get a day off on Monday or yeah. Friday, whichever one it is. So, I don't have to go wake up early. But, yeah, it'll be great. All right. Well, uh, good luck for the rest of the game. And, uh, well, see the Auckland Marco next year. Yeah, sweet. Thank right. you. Thank you.
Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and thank you for joining us here in Botany at the Hive. We do have a swarm lead of 2 to nothing over the Auckland Marco. And Marku, what do you think the Marco need to do to get back in? Well, Marku, Marco says that uh, <laughs> the, the Marco need to be uh, getting those turnovers and breakaways that they've been trying to get. Because uh, the Botany Swarm are putting a lot of pressure. They've got a lot of talent and size. They're putting in a physical play. There's a lot of big hits that we've seen so far. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the, that's the game plan. Yeah, the Swarm definitely starting to look like they're gelling before the start of their season. They could be a contender come the playoff period time. But nonetheless, the Marco showing what they're going to be doing in a couple of years when they join their respective mm. clubs. Yeah, the Swarm have been able to keep their core intact for a couple of years now in training, and it looks like they're telling quite a well and ready for the big season against the South Island teams as well. And we're just about to get back underway here for period two, as both teams have taken to their benches. be Atwell against Ball and Ball winning that. The Marco on a 30 second left on their penalty kill. And I'd just like to say a big thank you to all our viewers wherever you are around the world. Cheers for joining in to some New Zealand Ice Hockey League action. Yeah, send us in your comments, questions, whatever you might have about the uh, about the game or whatever and we'll do our best to uh, respond to those as Pozov try to find Sandoy as Kang is out of the box and straight skates straight to the bench for Taylon to get onto the ice as the Swarm will have it I'll put it in deep for Atwell to pick up try to find Vodinov skating towards the net but good pick off by Taylor as he'll just dump it in and chase. Still with it. As Taylor puts a shot on too. As Ollie Hay comes and cleans him out after the shot. So the Marco boy is definitely going to have to get used to this physicality of playing with the older guys in this league. Absolutely. Taylor having that much time and space in front of the net, that time will dwindle down quickly and you're gonna get end up being hit. As the swarm are coming up at the ice, Kozak puts it in front. Mako clears the puck out of the zone. As Tula will find Mawson who will bang it up. And Chalona will be there, but he only finds Stefan Tula with Jonsson cycling around, putting on the brakes. And trying to maybe one too many moves there. But Hawkinson with it. He's got Kozak at the back post, but the pass was up around the belt area. Kozak with it. Finds Jonsson. He shoots and he misses everything as he tried to go above the blocker side of Pankhurst. Pankhurst, the 17-year-old goalie for the Marco, having a pretty good game so far. He has led it in two, but he's sustained a lot of pressure so far. As Kozak will have it, he'll rip one on. As a save that comes out, though, Rusky Jones put on a nice move. He'll find Chamberlain shrieking down the left. He has to put on the brakes. And beats Mawson. He's pressured there by Puckett. As Tula dispossessed there by Regan. Maybe a little bit too clever on the play there. As Hopkinson tries to come clean up. And Steven with a Serikov with a shot right on, sorry, which was redirected in front. Regan just putting it wide. It looks like Regan has maybe stepped up to play in the attacking side of his team. Maybe want to get a little bit more going in that attacking department, so why not put Alex Regan up there? And there's Nash Hayward-Jones. 
little puck battle at the blue line. Squirts out there as Hill's the first to it. Puts it in behind for Puckett who gives it straight back. Oh, beauty of a hit there. Max Hill gets laid out. Marco doing a statement like we can lay down those big hits as well. And Hill's helmet came off, so he skated straight to the bench. He is all good after the clean hit, though. I guess the rules say that you have to get, get your helmet on or get off the ice. And putting your helmet back on probably will cost you about five seconds, and that is a long time in the game of hockey as Fontaine just bangs that one straight onto Canada as he will sit on that one all day long. See, I like the look of uh, Swarm's uh, line with Kozak, Janssen, and Hopkinson. They, they had a pretty big cycle going on, and they are looking to be a formidable line for Swarm this season. As well as their number one line in Atwell, Polozov, and Vodanov as well. So the Swarm definitely having two very good lines this season. Is that well? Trying to pass the Vordanov, but unable to get a good shot off as Pozov will have it. He'll put one on net too as the whistle blows as the ref thought Pankhurst had covered that up, but it was trickling just in front of him. But there wasn't really a small man in front of the net anyway, so wouldn't have been too dangerous. As will be Bowl versus Atwell. And Atwell wins that to Polozov, who you know what he does when he gets the puck. Centering feed, but a good stick on Vordanov there by Chamberlain stops that. As Flynn Hayward Jones will have it. Try to find a centering man, but that goes as far as Remy Sandoy and Bradley Apps doing some work there for the Marco with it now. Thought he had a man high, but here comes Polozov the other way. Pressured on by Hayward Jones, tries to get a shot off, but not enough, and Pankhurst will dive on that, but couldn't reach it. Swarm still with it. It does go outside of the zone for the time being. As I'll just put that one in deep and get a change for the Swarm. So a great back check by Flynn Hayward Jones to stop Polozov as the door swings open here on the near side. That's right. Uh, Polozov with a clean breakaway chance, but Flynn Hayward Jones flies in and is able to uh, hinder Polozov enough that uh, ends up being an easy save for Pankhurst. As Mawson will find his defensive partner, Tula, on the other side. So this defensive pairing for the Swarm and Stefan Tula and Stephen Mawson, they are end-to-end -end defensemen. If they get a breakaway, they are absolutely deadly as, as an attacking player as well. As Hawkinson will push that one over to the far side as Kang will put it up, but intercepted there by Hawkinson who gets dispossessed there by Rusky Jones. And Chamberlain does make the zone, but leaves it behind as Kozak puts on a move. He's on the back end here, going to net, back end scores! Andre Kozak with too much open ice on the backhand as well. Puts it over the glove of Pankhurst and it's a 3-0 lead to the Swarm. Checkmate. That's a powerful backhand from Andre Kozak. Powers away from the Mako defenders and flicks it. But a sharp backhander puts Swarm 3-0 ahead. It's almost as though Kozak knew exactly what he was going to be doing here when he was at the blue line. He says, I can beat him around that side, so I'm going to get a backhand shot off. And he ripped a goodie. 
And good pressure there by Commons. He'll dispossess Nash Hayward Jones for the time being. There's a battle for the puck on the near side. Comes out to the middle. Puck it almost with an opportunity as Alex Regan puts on the booster. He goes around Andy Hay. Tries to go centre, but Luke Simon knew exactly what he was going to be doing. And here's Serikov. He'll rip one on, but that misses everything entirely. Good hit there by Whitson Lee. And another one there from Puckett on a Marco player of Fontaine. So good to see the Swarm being physical, as it's something I reckon they've probably lacked in the last two or three years. Well, they're not lacking it much now, as the ref is giving a penalty to the Swarm and Pankhurst skates off for the extra attacker. And that's touched up. This is a much physical game than what we saw yesterday at Avondale uh, with the Swarm and Marco laying the hits from either side. So it's going to be Sam Webb for the Swarm going to the naughty bin for a couple of minutes. as the bad boy song does play out here in the stadium. What do you think? Is, it, is this going to be Marco's chance on a power play to... Well, that all depends. They're definitely going to have to put in work. As the Swarm are looking pretty strong in all departments at the moment. And as the puck comes out, Flynn Hayward-Jones will be there. He's got a bit of time for his guys to cycle down low. And we'll leave that on for Chamberlain. He just bangs that one in, but Ollie Hay first there. Tries to hit it around, puck goes out in front, and a shot there by the Marco, unable to get anything past the goalie as Jonsson pushes it on this near side. Oh, Ollie Hay just offside, though. That was a close call, but probably the right one there in that situation. So Whitson Lee will go to work here against Bowl. Kemp with it. Kemp sporting that blue stampede helmet with the stickers and all the glory. Good move here by Bradley Apps. Looks like he's rocking the Bauer Ultrasonics. Hard to miss as they are an extremely good looking pair of skates. As Kang will give it to Kemp to slow things down as Bowl comes around and picks it up. He's got a bit of space here, just backhands it only to a swarm defenseman. So the Marcos still need to work on these passes or they're not going to be going anywhere in the near future of this game. And a good hit there by is that Gavin Puckett again. He's loving the physical nature of the game so far. And another hit on this near side as Nash Hayward Jones collides with Atwell. And Taller tried to put a move on Rusky Jones and go through the very centre. And the Swarm kill off the penalty now. So they'll be back to full strength. Marco needing to be better on their power plays. As Atwell almost had a breakaway opportunity, but Polozov will pick it up for the Swarm now. Backhand pass to the middle. But it goes behind the net. He's still with it, though. Has Atwell at the back post here. Does get it. Shot on, and that goes wide. As Vodanov will find Polozov. Polozov, Harassin. Luke Tappen there in the corner. Luke Simon with it now, high. Rusky Jones in that passing lane, though, and he'll break up the play as the Marco will come the other way. 
and lose possession. Polozov. A few shimmies, but Flynn Hayward Jones knew what he was doing as he tries to go for a skate. As Andy Hay quickly puts that 62 inch stick in the lane there. And Chamberlain now tried to find a centering feed, but it was Richie Hopkinson doing a great bit of back check as Fontaine tried to get something going. And Fortinov gets that out of the zone. Kozak beats one, but Alex Regan comes back and says not today and puts on a spin to get away from Kozak. Serikov. Flynn Hayward Jones just ain't able to control that nicely as Ollie Hay will come away with it. He's got some pace. Rips one on and still rocking that five iron as that goes high. Might be rocking a new curve on the stick this season, I'm not sure. As Sandoy will go for a skate and drop it on for Jonsson, but he didn't know too much about it. As Fontaine will just be called offside there as Quigley was just a little bit ahead of that play. So the Marco, Marco definitely wanting to improve on the passes because they're just going to shoot themselves in the foot for the rest of this game if they can't get that under control. And maybe just need to be, slow it down a little bit, be a little bit more basic. Don't have to do too much, you know, just do the main things and then I'm sure they're going to get scoring chances again as they have kind of died down in this period. They haven't had much really on Matt Canada, as he'll probably be having a latte out there at the moment. That's right, simple plays is what Marco needs at, the, at this time. As Tola shows a bit of his, his sweet Swiss skill. He's met there with a hit from Kemp though. As Gavin Puckett will find Mawson. He'll bang one on, try to get a redirect there was Whitson Lee. Puts on a nice move to get away from his man though. And Tula doing well to keep that in. As Puckett will have it behind the net. Try to find Hill, but Kemp knew there was a passing lane that he needed to cover. Hill with a great opportunity here. Shoots and scores! Max Kemp for the Swarm, making it 4-0. As the puck found him in an acre of space in the middle slot. And he makes no mistake of that, Marku. Swarm able to make some great passes and uh, end up finding Max Hill wide open in the middle. No chance for Pankhurst. That close up the middle. Great call for Max Hill. You were right with that defense play pair of uh, Stephen Tuller and Stefan Tuller and Stephen Mawson. That's a great pairing. Uh, very offensive, good on defense. There's the Swiss Army knife and the Aquaman. <laughs> what a pair. Absolutely. I'm naturally a defenseman myself, so when I can see them doing things at both ends of the ice, I find it very fascinating and it's it's hard to judge who which team has the best defensive pairing in the league. It's either that one or the Admirals one, Daigle and Flynn Hayward Jones. Uh, we'll be excited to see what the Stampede put out this season. That's right, the Auckland teams will be looking to uh, challenge Stampede this is an S. We got Bradley Epps on a breakaway. Unable to get anything there was Bradley Epps as he probably wants another try at that again. As Max Hill scoring the goal before, that is his very first one in a Swarm jersey. So congrats to you, Max. 
hopefully more to come in this season for him. Well, there will be plenty if he finds himself with that amount of space and time. As Polozov will lifts the puck up to, to get around his man. Wooden over the shot, scores! Lovin Vordanov with a ripper from the point. Bar down. Bar down. I'm sure he'll love that one. Yeah, he's, he's looking happy finally. Andy Hay with a sleek turnaround, blind pass to the point, finds Robin Vordanov and he lasers a bar down shot. As that well, we'll bang that in. It's Vordanov versus Chamberlain there. As they both overscaled the puck and had to turn. Another battle for it though. As Regan will pick this up. And here comes Chamberlain. Centering feed to Regan. He shoots and a good pad save there by Kennedy. And again, a good save. Again, they score! <laughs> Caleb Chamberlain on the third shooting attempt there for the Marco as Canada was down and out with that desperation save but couldn't get up in time for that third shot. Matt Canada doing everything except standing on his head as Caleb Chamberlain finally is able to finish and that was a deserving goal for Caleb Chamberlain who has been flying across the ice this whole evening has a couple of attempts and now putting all the pressure after that and getting Marco on the board finally in this game. There's Hopkinson, nice little toe drag move, put a shot on net as well. He's definitely been working on his skills in the off season as Jonsson was able to keep that in but Fontaine will pick it up for the Marco. Leaves it on for Kemp. Who turns away from danger and bangs up for Serikov, who will get it out. Mawson versus Fontaine as Mawson showing how fast he is as well. And it and I, th I think the players thought there was a whistle on the play. There wasn't. And Jonsson will have it. And Kozak with a redirect hits the, the bar. Geez, boys, play that to the was... whistle as they all stopped as they thought icing was called, but it was an even battle to beat the icing out. As Jonsson tried to find a centering feed to Kozak, but he's pressured on and couldn't get a good shot off. I was wondering, I didn't hear a whistle. Yeah. And, and neither I... did the players. And one of the zebras are looking at each other like, what? Did you blow anything? Yeah, I have not seen that happen in, in a game. As Andy Hay has it, he'll find Max Hill on the near side. Oh, great pass to find Swiss Army Knife over on the far, far boards. Whitson Lee will bang that in. As Kemp will be the first there for the Marco, but Max Hill pressured him, but Kemp will stay with it. And no offside there, shot on by Kemp, but Canada seeing that all the way. As Whitson Lee gets it out for the swarm, as Puckett will gain the zone, finds Whitson Lee, he shoots and five hole scores! Josh Whitson Lee with his second of the night, finds a five hole on Pankhurst. What do you think? Yeah. Is there a third one in for Josh Whitson Lee tonight? Well, the way Gavin Puckett is playing out there tonight, putting his body on the line and making some great passes, it's hard to see why not. So for the past two or three seasons, I've seen the Swarm forever improving 
just that little bit every game. And I'm sure they're going to be a tough team to beat this season. As they look like they've got a pretty good vibe going in the clubhouse. With Philip Forty and Quinton, the double South African coaching partnership going here. As Luke Tappen will have it. There's a lovely saucer pass. Oh, it takes a wicked deflection off the boards. Vodinov with it. Trying to get a shot on, but that's blocked. Finds Oli Hay, puts one on, redirect by Hopkinson, which came extremely close. Polozov with it, he's got Quigley on him, but he gets a pass off to Hopkinson, centering feed, but a good stick in the lane there by the Marco as they get four men changing. Well, the, one of them didn't have time to get back. The Nash Hayward Jones might be pretty tired out there at the moment. As Ollie Hay will find Jonsson, but that just a little bit in front of his stick, so unable to corral that nicely. As Tula will have it. There's two small men camping at the back post there, so he's trying to find them, but nonetheless, the Marco have it, shoots, and covered up there by Canada. He sees that all the way. So a good shot there by Chalona, putting some pressure on Canada. Thank you for the viewers. We have a comment that uh, Hayden Bull is pronounced uh, Bull. So we learned these. Say uh, that again. Bull. Bull. As in cool. Bull. Alrighty. Bull. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're learning new play. Oh, Here's Kozak. Break break Kozak. Away. Backhand, forehand, scores. Andre Kozak faking the wrist shot. Backhand, forehand, and Pankhurst nowhere to be seen. Not having a go at him, but I don't think many goalies would be too far from being seen in that situation. So a 7-0 lead now for the Swarm. As they're starting to fire on all cylinders here now at the Hive. But as we know, this Marco team, no matter the score, they will never stop fighting. As Serikov rips one, rebound in front by Kande, second try. And he finally covers up, and the second period Huda goes. So a 7-0 lead for the Botany Swarm. A good match we got going so far. We're going to have Matt Kande coming up for an interview with me right after this, so stay tuned folks, and we'll be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined here by New the NZ Ice Hockey League uh, most well-used dishwasher or <laughs> washing machine, whatever you might say. Matt Kennedy, how are you, mate? Yeah, good, buddy. How are you doing? Yeah, good to have you up here. Yeah, how, cheers, how you, man. How are you feeling about this game so far? Yeah, it's good. Um, the Marco came out swinging today, which is quite nice to see. It's good seeing these juniors get some action, so hopefully the season entertaining third. Yeah, they just go absolutely at you, don't they? Yeah, 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 exactly. So you, you have let in one in, but that second save you did make on that, that yeah. huge save, and then yeah. there was no way you could have got to that third one, unfortunately. Well, yeah, I, I sold myself shy there by doing a Marty Turco pad stack, so there's not a lot that you can do after that. That was a bit much. <laughs> so what's, what's the vibe like in camp? How are you guys feeling um, yeah, getting good. into the season? We're ready this year. It's been a long year, man, like yeah. with missing semis and finals last year. It, it's, you know, it's been eight, nine months, so the boys are itching to get back at it, and uh, we're looking pretty good here, I think. Yeah, I, yeah, I reckon you guys are looking pretty well. Maybe yeah. just a few things to improve on, but I'm sure yeah. the coach will less, go over that less with you. pad stacks. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> now you're all right, mate. As long as you do pull them off once in a while, <laughs> yeah. it's all good. So yeah, obviously the swarm last season were look starting to look so good going into that yeah. playoff, and I was I was quite disappointed that obviously the season got called off, but. You know, such as life, but nonetheless, is I reckon is, you yeah. guys improve on that. You're going to yeah. be really, really strong this season. Yeah, we're th we're th we're we're thinking we're we're making a run for it this year, so should be interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. So, when are you when are you guys off? When's your first game? First game's July second, third against the Admirals, and then I'm back to God's country, Saskatoon, for a week, a couple of weeks, and then. Uh, flying back and I think we're straight back into it down in Christchurch after that I think so so you won't be missing any games uh yeah I'm missing a couple <laughs> <laughs> talked it into my contract this year so yeah you already applied for that <laughs> annual leave with the coach yeah 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 they're not unhappy with it but we'll get through we got the dynamic duo back this year so me and Gracie are gonna gonna have our way with the league this year It'll be good. I reckon two yeah. best goalie combinations in the league yeah I, I sure. think so I think so so you played um all summer in the uh, summer season? Well, yeah, you just seen what I learned from it. Beer league pad stack. So <laughs> hopefully we can maybe get another game under my belt but before we start getting into some uh, season games. But, yeah. Yeah. yeah it, was a lot, it was a lot. It was a lot of hockey over the last eight months. So it's good to have the National League back, that's for sure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining me, mate. No worries, Go man. Go get back in there and enjoy the rest hey, of your game. Hey, you guys are doing a great job. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Have a good one.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Hive here at Botany, Auckland, New Zealand. I'm your host, Bryce Rouse, alongside me, Maku Motahario. We're back for period three in the 7-1 to one game, the Botany Swarm favouring the Auckland Marco and outshooting them 30-18 to 18 at the moment. Marku, what's your thoughts for the third period for the Marco? I think Swarm are looking pretty good for the season, wouldn't you say? It, it's sure. been a pretty commanding uh, show from the Swarm so far with uh, a lot of guys uh, getting a chance and uh, like Max Hill, first goal in the Swarm uniform. Yeah, a couple of guys getting their first goals tonight for the Swarm as they're going to want to look to keep building as we're underway, getting underway here now. As the puck has dropped. Vodinov off to Polozov, straight away shoots and scores! Straight off the bat, Vodinov finding Polozov. And Polozov with the look on his face, is, that's as easy as they come, boys. So not a good start to the period here for the Marco. No, just a straight rush from the face-off. You catch those defenders standing flat-footed and you're off to the races. And that's a quick, uh, quick goal for the Swarm. As Vodinov does well to keep that in, but it will be cleared as Oli Hay finds Sandoy. And Sandoy getting past two, trying to go past two men and crashes into the zebra. They will come up all right. As Apps will find Ball. We'll put it on for Flynn Hayward Jones. Back to Ball. Bradley Apps battling for it. Puck does come out though as Atwell. Polozov with it. Tried to find Atwell at the back post, but hit a skate in front. As Polozov actually took that off Atwell there and said, go to the net. Pretty good option though. As Polozov tried to lift that one into the slot area, as Chamberlain will. Leave that on for Rusky Jones. Here's Rusky. Shoots. Oh, rips a good one though, but that misses everything. So Kozak will just give it back to Tula. And we'll receive it back. He's got Hopkinson here. He leaves it off for Mawson. Mawson trying to go through as Rusky Jones steps up and puts his body on the line. Kozak with it. We'll leave it for Hopkinson. Good pass to Mawson. Try to put one on net, but, and he gets a, a hit on there from Kemp. A lot of Marco players really putting the body on the line, challenging Stephen Mawson, not the smallest of guys to uh, get a check on. As Rusky Jones will find Chalona. But unfortunately, icing is called on that. It's been a physical night tonight, and it's a good learning experience for these Auckland Mako players because they really need exposure to this kind of level of physical play. It is a men's league, and it's actually good for them to learn the physical play and how to prepare for those checks. Keep your head up, take the hits, give the hits, and be prepared for those world championships where the game will be physical. As Chalona will steal that off Andy Hay. Try to put one on net, but Andy Hay with a good back check getting a stick in front of that. As Max Hill try to find a centering pass to Whitson Lee. And Whitson Lee without a glove. Sorry, Luke Tappen without a glove. We do have a penalty on the play. So the marker will be going to the power play now as it's touched up. And it's going to be Gavin Puckett. So he's in the Naughty box for two minutes for hooking as he tries to play the nice guy by giving the refs the puck and then saying, what? I didn't do anything. Still complaining about it as he's trying to skate to the bench, but it's 
still really doesn't want to go in. No, he's just camping <laughs> at the blue line there until the ref marches him in. Lucky he didn't get a double minor for that. Could easily have given away another penalty there. As Marco will have it, shot on net, but straight into the hands of Canada. Yeah, that is... Uh, Sebastian Chamberlain. Yeah, getting his uh, first goal as a rookie for the Admirals yesterday. Had a similar kind of shot the, from the point to open the scoring last night. And I can confirm Alex Regan now playing a centre role. As Luke Tappen will pick this up for the marker and leave it off for his fellow speedster in Fontaine. Sebastian Chamberlain with it. Here's Fontaine again. Rips one on, but blocked by San Sandoy, who looks in a little bit of discomfort as I think he got that on the back of the pad. As he's laboring out there now, Regan with it. Chamberlain unable to corral that on the stick, and that will go all the way down. Sando able to get off the ice as he's uh, taking a big hit on an unprotected spot. As here's Forgs. He gets around a couple guys, but Vordanov working hard on the back check. Dispossesses him, and then he will get the wheels going. But Flynn Hayward Jones standing tall. As Tula will have it and doesn't clear the zone. Chance here. Shoots from Nash Hayward Jones. Good pad save from Canada. So Stefan Tula almost awarding a gift there to the Marco. You probably want to take those because he won't do that very often. As Flynn Hayward Jones will get dispossessed here by Gavin Puckett. And he'll clear that out. Sorry, it was Tula that cleared it out. As Gavin Puckett now gets out of the, the box and receives the pass straight away. As Pucker will give that over to Luke Simon. We'll put it up for Jonsson who puts on a nice move. Puck does come out though. Andy Hay with it and he'll just backhand that into the zone for Jonsson to chase on. Andy Hay with it again. Finds Jonsson. Try to find Kozak but a ripper here. Hopkinson but that's blocked in front. By the Marco. As Hawkinson try to go around Rusky Jones. Does well though as he'll bang it in and get a change. As Kemp spins away from Kozak. Kang puts it up to Rusky Jones. Who gave a pass up to another man but he was unable to, didn't know anything about that. As Kozak beats out the icing here for the Swarm, centering feed, but Rusky Jones home. Whitson Lee with a ripper. But not on net. As Kang, good pass over the far side. As Chamberlain showing a bit of pace. As Sandoy does well to get the puck out. And offside on the play as... Puckett had the, the puck between his legs and just left it a little bit behind him. And we'll get a neutral zone face off. And good pressure there by Ben Taylor on Sebastian Chamberlain as that puck Squirts up out of play, so we'll get a face-off once again. 
and it'll be outside the zone. It's been a good game from both Chamberlain, Sebastian, and Caleb. Uh, Justin Daigle said yesterday that this, they're really the har hardest working uh, youngsters in the team as they're playing with Marco and the Admirals, along with Leon Quigley and Serikov that are now today wearing the Marco jersey. As Regan will have the puck full of Marco, try to find Serikov, but he was harassed there by Sandoy early. As Sam Webb will get the puck back once again, he finds Commons with a nice pass. Commons trying to go around a Marco player there, but didn't have the legs. Sandoy with it now, only had one option and that was down low. As Regan puts on the brakes but leaves the puck behind. Here's Vodanov, he rips one in, a good glove save there by Pankhurst. Puck goes to the point, Sandoy rips one, deflected in front of the net so that doesn't get through. Vodanov with it, he's up two men high, here's Tula, he'll rip one and Sam Webb trying to get a redirect there, but he redirects that very wide. Swarm still with it. Shot on net. Pankers had to make a stick save there. Uh, Atwell with a shot there. Hits the post. And Tula will shoot that on, but Fontaine with a stick in the lane. That puck goes into the roof. And doesn't come out, Marku. So the roof... Uh, wins another puck. I'm sure there's probably about 45 up there. Yeah. Something for the archaeologist to find. And and a shot on there. Pozov making a good screen and try to get a redirect there. Unlucky to have that end up in the back of the net. As Tula does well to keep that in. Horrible bounce off the glass as that gets away from Atwell a bit. And a hand pass not called from Flynn Hayward Jones, but an icing will be. So the Swarm still sustaining pressure in the Marco zone. Swarm are now one goal away from handing out the biggest loss uh, that Auckland Marco, Marco has received. They did lose 9-1 to Dunedin Thunder in 2021, 20, May. So they are one goal away from tying that uh, unfortunate record. As we get another icing on the play. So another defensive zone face off for the Marco will be needed. And for the Swarm, Kozak is actually playing wing this season, it seems. Seems to be working out for them. Uh, like his play, again, especially with Janssen. A lot of his hard sauce passes finding Janssen's blade. And a redirect in front as Vordanov was open in front of the net. Probably didn't know he had a... A lot of time, he could have controlled that, but nonetheless wanted to get something off quickly. And here's Ben Taylor, he'll find Janssen. Tries to go around, Flynn Hayward Jones, leaves it back on for Kozak, who just gets a good stick lift. So it does go back to Sandor, here's Janssen at the back post, shoots, and a good save there by Pankhurst. As Flynn Hayward Jones will snuff that out and go for a little skate himself. Try to find a centering feed, but that was behind his man. As Ollie Hay will just bang that one down. Kemp got something on it, so icing is waved. Kemp with a nice move and finding one of his cycling wingers. In tail on. He'll whip it around for Kemp. 
puts one on net, but a stick in the lane stops that. And Sandoy will curl away. And give it up to the right wing in Kozak. Try to put something on net, but that's deflected. Goalie did have to make a little save there, though. And here's Chelona. Tries to go through two swarm guys, but Aquaman Mawson steps in. Try to make a move there too on Kemp, but Kemp doing well. So the defenseful shot on there from Kemp. The defenseman from both teams looking to skate the puck here in this final period. As they want to try to get on the score sheet in one way or another. A lot of hunger on these Marco players. Really wanted to get on the board and these uh what's this? Last eight minutes left in the game. As Tula pressured there, but he does get it off to Mawson. And Whitson Lee just tapping that with a bit of speed, but Sebastian Chamberlain there tried to body up, but Whitson Lee did have a bit of pace there to work with. As Rusky Jones, nice pass up to and they're offside though, as Fontaine was just a little bit ahead of the play. Chamberlain probably saying to him, I know you're fast, but you've got to slow down a bit for me. Or maybe Chamberlain apologizing that he didn't gain the zone early enough. Fontaine with it though, he'll find Serikov. He'll put that in deep. Luke Simon, the first player there. For the swarm. Here's a chance here for the Marco. Block a pad save, rebound, and it's still not in. So the Marco with a good chance there. As Canada was down and out. But lucky he had some defensemen around him to help him out there in that situation. Canada with a high, high uh, save percentage so far in the game. Not letting Marco have any fun with the goal scoring tonight. As Fontaine trying to show uh, Andy Hay what moves he has, but Andy Hay using that body. Flynn Hayward Jones trying to keep that in well. Fontaine with it, he'll leave it on deep. As Alex Regan will give that off to Fontaine. DeMarco trying to work the wheel here. Get up high to Flynn Hayward Jones who puts one straight on net, but that goes wide. And unable to get something on net on the second attempt as Webb will clear that for the Swarm. And DeMarco get it out of their zone. Ollie Hay with it, beats two, beats tries to go through Regan, but he can't. Regan with it, shoots, and uh, straight into the arms of Canada. Moving Regan up to uh, forward position has created some more offense for the Marco in the third. Poor defense, but looking not too bad when they are in the attacking zone, though. As the Swarm player, Mike Latwell here on the near side, try to go through Kemp, and then absorbs a hit from Atwell. CJ Kemp having a pretty good game in the defensive department, though, for the Marco. As Sandoy will coast over to, to get that as the Swarm boys do track back for a cycle. And pressure on there as, oh, quickly just leaving it behind him. So the Swarm come the other way. Here's Polozov. Finds Oli Hay. He shoots. Rebound in front. Would not go. As the Marco clear it. 
and they'll get a change on the play as well. As Vordanov, a lovely skate pass. We'll get it back, shoots, and straight in the arms of the Auckland Marco goalie. So no, go no goalie changes just yet, Marco. No, no, that's a statement of confidence from H.S. Piller towards Pankhurst. Those goals are eight goals, but they're not, the goalie is not to be blamed. Pankhurst has displayed some great saves throughout the game, uh, great directional uh, change uh, on the second to last save, save there with the bouncing puck. As the Mako are trying to build another offensive attack here. Apps bringing the puck way back and trying to set something up. Getting a pass off to Talon. Talon. I would like to call him Talon. That sounds mean. <laughs> like a hawk claw. Yeah. As Johnson. Try to get past Luke Tappen, but Tappen just beating him out on that occasion. As Marco do get it out, if they can get the puck out, it could be a one on oh. But Mawson using that body well, shielding the puck and slowing the play down just enough. As Kozak gains the zone, still with it, absorbs the hit. As Jonsson's push off the puck. And Marco just giving the puck away once again. It's just those passes as they're breaking out of the zone that are really hurting them tonight. As the puck trickles out to Luke Simon. Whitson Lee pressured there. Andy Hay will find Puckett, but we have a whistle on the play. Do we have too many men? Yes, the uh, linesman is signaling six, six men on the ice for a botany swarm. So we get two minutes for uh, too many men on the ice. There's no one's gone to the penalty box yet. They'll need someone to volunteer for the team. It's gonna be the captain Andy Hay putting his hand up. So the Swarm doing pretty well tonight, only giving away one penalty if I can remember correctly. But a chance here for the Marco to at least claw back at least one. As Chamberlain showing a few skills. As Nash Hayward Jones rips one, but straight on Canada. <laughs> Both Hayward Jones is here on the power play playing defense. Ollie Hay unable to clear that as Rusky Jones was there and he receives a hit from Ollie Hay for his troubles. As Atwell tried to do a bit of work and slow down the puck in the attacking zone, but here's Flynn Hayward Jones, had Regan going to the net. Flynn Hayward Jones, he'll find Regan. Lays it on back with a shot on, but once again, right into the, the middle of Canada. That's one guy you definitely can't shoot the puck through. It's, it's Matt Canada, you definitely gotta go around him. Yeah, I think Marco should have uh, looked for a more dangerous shooting opportunity. They were having a good Good power play cycle set up, and uh, yeah, there's no 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 screen on that shot. Kemp able to keep that in. As Mawson puts a hit on Regan, but he'll get up straight away. And Jonsson will clear that all the way down. 
Here's Kang. He'll give it to Fontaine. Who puts on the wheels. Nice deke. He's got past two. Backhand. Centering feet. Shoots. And that's wide. Great. Just did in favor of a left-hand shooter in Serikov there. Nice setup by Serikov and Lafontaine. Did I say Lafontaine? I meant just Fontaine. Fontaine. Just yep. Fontaine. Lafontaine's the um, the bar at Mission Bay. That's right. I, I think I was thinking Pat Lafontaine. <laughs> <laughs> A three on two opportunity here for the Marco. They sh shoot, but once again gone wide. They got the five irons out tonight as well. Need to get some lower shots happening here. Good collision there at center ice between Mawson and Serikov. Sandoy behind the net. We'll go for a little skate and finds Whitson Lee. Try to find Vodanov at the back post with a nice little saucy pass. And I'll just bang that one in deep. Back to Ethan's strength, just over a minute to go here. And a in between the legs pass there from Whitson Lee. Josh Whitson Lee on the ice looking for a hat trick. Looking hungry for it too, but looking like he did, doesn't want to be too selfish about it. So a team of team players, as they have looked tonight, the Botany Swarm. Uh, unlucky there as Vordanov just ahead of the play. Probably could have got a pass there earlier from Puckett. Yes, yeah, Vordanov has to work on those splits a little bit more to keep onside. You saw that flexible uh, at your age, Marco? Absolutely not. It's uh, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I play goalie at times, and uh, I'm probably the most unflexible goalie there is. As Luke Tappen has it in the corner. Unable to clear as Luke Simon will bang one on. Stick save there by Pankhurst. That will find Andy Hay. He'll just put one on, redirect in front, rebound, scores! Michael Atwell putting away a puck in the low slot area. Somewhat a tap in, if you will. And that will increase the lead to eight, so it's 9-1 to the Swarm. 9-1, that's it, uh, it's the Botany Swarm tight. Ty, uh, the record loss for the Auckland Mako, 9-1. And that's the end of the game. As Pretty good show for the Botany Swarm. Matt Kennedy showing off one of his magic tricks there at the end <laughs> as the puck went into him and he says, I don't know where it is. He still actually doesn't know where it is. David Copperfield. He's a bit of a wizard Whoosh. when he is on. But that's it tonight, ladies and gentlemen. 9-1 to the Botany Swarm. 42 shots to 27. And that is the final game for the Auckland Marco this season as these boys will join their respective clubs and train with them. And I'm sure that there's going to be some coaching headaches as they're going to definitely want to include these boys in their squads for the upcoming NZIHL season. That's right, and the upcoming Worlds. Good luck for all these players and good luck for Botany Swarm on their upcoming season. Yeah, so that's it for the preseason here as we get the show started in a couple of weeks. It's looking like it's going to be a good season because all the boys are fizzing after obviously last year not being allowed to go to playoffs. And, I'm, and the Canterbury Red Devils as well, special mention. Uh, I reckon they could be a dark horse this season. Oh, you reckon? Oh, All right. yeah. Um, we'll have to wait and see on that one, though. But thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us here tonight at The Hive. I've been your host, Bryce Rouse, alongside Maku Moltahariu. Yes, thank you for watching, and tune in to next time.